Welcome to St. Zachary Parish. This is a difficult time for all of us. We're so happy you're joining us virtually today for prayer and worship. Today in our lit liturgy, we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Easter. Our presider today is Father Peter Rapsha, and our deacon is Roland Brissett.
a flag I may reach where the great shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted this message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Good. 
This is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ has suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should be returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten them. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins and his body on the cross, so that free from sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you have gone astray like sheep, but you now have returned to the shepherd and the guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. for a train, 
and suddenly one of his shoes uh, slipped off and landed on the truck. He was not able to get it because the train was moving. So he took off his uh, another one and he put it on the truck. On the truck. And uh, someone asked him, what are you doing? And he said, if somebody of a knee in the shoes gonna find one, he cannot use it. But if he's gonna find her, he can use them. My dear friends, this story is teaching us very important lesson. The lesson to say yes to the love of Jesus. And this must be our response to his love because we are love people. Jesus loves us. We can respond to his love by loving him too. But in what way? The answer is very simple by loving others. Today we celebrate the Good Shepherd Sunday. Jesus offered everything for us. He laid his life for ours. We, in turn, have to see those who are in need around us. And in this way, we can always follow our good shepherd. Now, brothers and sisters, let us profess together our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, sugar from sugar, begotten not to make. Consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death from the Spirit, he rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven. And seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who will be the Father's Son, and glorified. Who has spoken to the prophets, I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. The Lord is our shepherd. Let us carry our needs and the many needs of the world to his caring arms. Let our response be, Alleluia, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, that he may fulfill his role as the shepherd and protect the most vulnerable in our flock, we pray. For persons with disabilities, that their lives may be recognized as worth protecting, especially during times of widespread illness. We pray. Hallelujah. Hear our prayer. For all who serve in the military, that they perform their duties with moral integrity and dedication to protecting our nation and most importantly, for their safe return home, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all health.
healthcare workers and first responders. That God will renew their strength, guide them in their work, and protect them and their families, we pray. For all who are in need, that God will help them find resources they need and help them use their gifts wisely, we pray. For all those who are ill, that they may be surrounded by the love, prayers, and concern of all the followers of Christ, we pray. For all our brothers and sisters in Christ who have died, that they may rejoice in the presence of our Heavenly Father, we pray. For the intentions of this Mass, for Thomas to respond, Billy Penar, Ronald Rasha, Joseph and Johan Petro Costa, James D. Hiroland, Ray Lucille, Blanche and Marianne Cashmo, George Wright, Richard D. Allen Sr., Dorothy Craig, Jacob Ogielski, Agnes McRae, Violet Jewett, Special Intention of the Rosary Group, we pray. Hallelujah, hear our prayer. Generous God, and you know each by name, hear our prayers and let your spirit fill our heart. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
me and so may holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a bubble so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving it thanks, broke and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of me, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving a thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the name of Jesus. The minister with our faith. Thank you. 
away the sins of the world. Bless are those who go to the top of the land. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the blood of Christ be saved, Lord. May the blood of Christ be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. 